Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to share with you the triple contraction method which is a fantastic way of making your programs more challenging, much harder especially if you're working out from home, if you're using light weights that we want to make heavier or you're using things like bottles and we want to also make those heavier. What the triple contraction method allows you to do is to actually place more tension on muscle fibers where they're fully shortened and to ask those muscle cells to perform more under fatigue because we're going to spend more time in the short position. Now, if we're looking at muscle fiber lengths and all that sort of stuff, if you want to know where muscle fibers are lengthened and shortened and all that sort of good stuff when it comes to exercise selection, head on over to my YouTube channel and you'll find out virtually all the details that you need to know for every single exercise from body weight to bands to gym based exercises. But today's video, we're going to be focusing on the triple contraction method and how to implement it. So the example that I'm going to use here is going to be a lateral raise. So typically speaking, you're going to perform one rep at a time and you're going to bring the medial delts from a lengthened position into a shortened position at the top. So you'd normally perform say three sets of 10 if that's what your program says, and then you would actually have a rest and then go back into your next set. This is what the triple contraction method would look like for the lateral raise. So we're gonna spend time at the top. We're gonna to come down into a, not a lengthened position, but more of a lengthened position from the top. Then we're gonna go back up into the top, squeeze hard again at the top, and again, back up to that shortened position before returning back to your lengthened state. Quick tip on lateral raises, keep your dumbbells just outside your hips so we don't want to return back to normal. The first 15 degrees, or return back to your side, first 15 degrees, another muscle is going to take control of creating the movement for that. So just outside 15 degrees and it's going to be largely the medial delt, so the middle portion of your shoulder that's going to be working and taking most of the actual tension, which is exactly what we want if we're going to create adaptations, time under significant tension. So that triple contraction method again, we're going to go up, squeeze, we're going to go down, squeeze, down, squeeze, bring it back into that short position each and every time, which counts as one rep of your program. Now, if we've got three sets of 10 doing the triple contraction method, then you're going to apply 30 repetitions in total. So you're going to have 10 of those which are going to be full reps, you're going to have 20 of those which are going to be partial reps. Give this a go guys, this is not easy. This is really tough. It allows us to take your program into another level if we've got limitations, or even if we haven't got limitations, it allows us to make a tough exercise even tougher. Now there are always gonna be risks and rewards when it comes to what you're gonna use and where, so don't just start throwing triple contraction in for everything. So for example, I wouldn't be using this on a free weight pack squat, and I wouldn't be using this on anything where there's gonna be quite a degree of spinal loading like that. So we wanna be picking our exercises appropriately, and ideally we wanna be working from a stable position, which if we're looking at the lateral raise, we can make that more stable by using a bench or something like that. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys, and uh, I will see you again soon.